What do you do when you get scared? Is there anything to take your mind off of it you do or you think about? Wow, that's a, that's a really interesting question. There was one line in the movie that touched me a lot. It said, the only thing worse than having cancer is having a kid suffering from it. Mm -hmm. You are playing Hazel's parents. How do they deal with it? Well, um, they deal with it, I mean, first of all, by trying to figure out every possible way of keeping her healthy and happy. Yeah. Um, you know, from trying to keep the air clean in the house. We talked about all these little details that we would do as parents. Trying to get her out of the house to walk around to, you know, and, and getting her on a date is great. Um, of course, I have that scene, but you're all, we're also worried that she'll get hurt, of course. We don't, but, but the idea of her getting with a, being with a guy and having that opportunity is the most incredible thing in the world. To know love, you know. To know love, which is such a gift that she gets um, for us. You need to be a teenager. If you want me to be a teenager, you don't send me to support group. You gotta give me a fake ID so that I can go to clubs and take pot. Uh, you don't take pot? That is the kind of thing I would know with a fake ID. You know, it was an incredible gift that John Green wrote parents who I think represent our time and our culture so beautifully. These aren't parents of the 1950s. These are, you know, what happens when kids from the you know, 1970s who are hippies and go to music festivals and work for the Peace Corps find themselves in love having a baby one day and go, whoa, we're supposed to be grown-ups and how do you do that? And then with this diagnosis really have to figure out how to be adult through mm -hmm. this shared experience. But I think Hazel's voice is representative of being raised by parents who treat you like a friend and a partner in life, mm -hmm. not as the child you talk down to. Um, and yeah. John captured that so beautifully. So being parents of this generation, it's pretty It's sort of fun. like how we feel as parents yeah. in a way. <laughs> like, completely. Yeah. One day I'm gonna blow up and I'm gonna obliterate everything in my wake and I don't wanna hurt you. What do you do when you get scared? Is there anything to take your mind off of it you do or you think about? Wow, that's a, that's a really interesting question. Because you were scared in this movie a lot, right? Uh, oh yeah, uh, oh yeah. Um, you know, you, you just focus on, uh, I think you focus on the day, on the hour, on the minute that's in front of you, rather than thinking too far down and hyperbolizing. And I think that's one of the messages of the book, too, is, and of the movie, is, is to really notice what's happening right now in this minute, you know, as opposed to what you think is going to happen later and really appreciating the beauty of, of now, of the now. It's very zen in a way, this it book. It is. Um, I'm a meditator, and that's the thing I do in my, when I'm in my fear. But it is a very meditative yeah. <laughs> message in just trying to focus on what we have at this moment and bring your attention to that mm -hmm. and the gift of that moment, as Anne Frank is sort of the heroine of the story in that way, um, finding the beauty in this moment. Thank you so much for the interview. Thank, Thank you. you. I really enjoyed the interview. Oh, cool. Thank, Thank you. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Lovely to meet you.